something? We were wondering, what does the word kill MacDuog mean? Well, it's a signpost, really, telling us that this is the church of the soul of Dua. Oh, right, okay. But that would be the full meaning, though. If you want to know what it means, really, you'd have to hear the legend of St. Cormac. What did he say? I'll tell you later. Hey, cool, can you tell us a story? Well, there's a little bit of a tale in it, all right. But if you want to hear it, I know two great girls for the job. Okay, wow, cool, thanks. Now they'll tell you a story or two about the great St. Colmer Macdua. There is a story that links St. Colmer to Dungura Castle here in Canberra. Legend has it. The King Gora was feasting in his castle after a successful hunt. It was nearly Easter, and St. Coleman and his assistant were fasting for Lent, and they were starving. As they sat praying in the woods, all the dishes from King Gora's feast lifted off the tables and flew all the way to St. Coleman's cave. The king and his servants looked high and low for the feast, but it was nowhere to be seen. He was furious. He stormed out of the castle, jumped on his horse, and followed in pursuit of the dishes. St. Coleman's tale brings us here, to the hazelwood landscape of the burn, to a place called Eagle's Rock. Legend has it that he lived in the woods, away from the cares of the material world. This would have been a wishing well and a holy spring, long before it became known as St. Coleman's Well. Isn't it magical? came to live here, in this very wood. While the kings and their castles were fighting and feasting, he chose a hermit's life of fasting and prayer. Supposedly, he lived in that cave up there. As Coleman and his assistant prayed, Gora's feast miraculously appeared before them. Finally, Gora reached Coleman's cave. To this day, you can see hoof prints in the rock, and the road they travelled is known as Bohar Nemeus, or the Road of the Dishes. When at last King Gora was led into the wood, he and St. Coleman stood face to face. At that moment, the king was no longer angry, and they shook hands and embraced. Kilmacduo was formed by seeing Coleman in the early 600s, and he became bishop of all of King Gora's territory. <laughs> St. Coleman Macdua's first church is no longer standing, but Kilmacduo, over a thousand years old, still carries his name. So, did you like the story of St. Coleman? Yeah, thanks! It was fascinating! I know, and if we believe the tale, he was pretty amazing. Well, we've got to go, but enjoy the rest of your stay. Hey, thanks! Yeah, thank you, we will! See you later, Uncle. Well, thanks for all your help. Yeah, it was a really great story. No bother. All of it is work. <laughs> <laughs>